Hello everyone and welcome to On The Run information about Great Danes. What is On The Run information? Say you are looking for a new dog to adopt and you want some quick information about that dog or you're a new owner and you just want some fast tips. Well I got you covered. These are 5 great, easy, and fast tips to keep your dog healthy for years to come. Let's get into it. Health. Gastric dilatation volvulus, GDV, sometimes known as bloat, is the leading cause of death in Danes. Owners should become knowledgeable about the warning indications of bloat and what to do if it occurs. A prophylactic gastropexy, often known as a preventative tack, is a procedure that many breeders and owners think about doing to help avoid some of the more severe effects of GDV. In addition to these conditions, the breed is susceptible to hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and autoimmune thyroiditis. Breeding stock is screened by a reputable breeder for ailments that can harm the breed. Recommended health tests from the National Breed Club, hip evaluation, thyroid evaluation, cardiac exam, ophthalmologist evaluation. Grooming. The short, silky coat of the Great Dane doesn't lose much for the majority of the year, but given the size of the dog, this can still add up to a surprising lot of hair. The least amount of shedding can be achieved by brushing your dog once a week with a medium bristle brush, a rubber grooming tool or mitt, or a hound glove. However, hair loss will be more severe once or twice a year during shedding season, making regular brushing desirable. Rarely, unless they get into anything dirty, do Great Danes require a bath. Like all breeds, the Great Dane has to have its nails cut periodically since they can become painful and interfere with their ability to run and walk. Exercise. Great Danes may appear laid back, but they need regular activity that is age appropriate. A quick stroll twice or three times a day may be sufficient. They can be excellent running or hiking partners, but you must wait until the dog is two years old to do so to protect developing joints. Avoid strenuous exercise right before or right after meals to prevent bloating. Danes have a propensity to follow their nose wherever it leads them, therefore it is best to keep them on a leash at all times and to only let them run free in locations that have a high fence. Many Great Danes take part in sports like flyball as well as agility, obedience, tracking, and weight pulling. Training Early socialization and puppy training classes are recommended. For a breed as large and powerful as the Great Dane, Obedience training is a must. Socialization, gently exposing the puppy to a wide variety of people, places, and situations will help him develop into a well-adjusted adult. Great Danes are sociable, friendly, and eager to please, and they respond well to firm, consistent training methods. They need to have human contact, affection, and socialization with other people and animals. Nutrition. Feed the Great Dane a high-quality dog food appropriate to the dog's age, puppy, adult, or senior. Give table scraps sparingly, if at all, especially avoiding cooked bones and foods with high fat content. Learn about which human foods are safe for dogs, and which are not. Owners must be aware that the number one killer of the breed is bloat, where the stomach distends and twists. The causes of bloat aren't fully understood, but experts agree that multiple small meals per day and preventing vigorous exercise around mealtimes can help reduce the chances of it happening. That's the on-the-run information about Great Danes. Check the description below for more information. See you next time.